Tesla earning came out this afternoon and evening, and there was a conference call. Let's talk about what happened and uh, what we could possibly see uh, here going forward with uh, Tesla and Tesla, and uh, maybe look at the market uh, as a whole and maybe give you some hope for uh, what come in the future. But for now, let's go check this out. This is my tactical stock scalper. All right, all right. So if you look at uh, my sell and buy uh, up there, it says a 232 uh, is the price for TSLA. The 242 was indeed the closing price. Uh, this is not showing the after hours candle on the daily chart, but let's check it out. So uh, today uh, we broke below the 100 period moving average where you see that arrow right there. Now after hours, which you can't see here, it is uh, roughly right around the 200 period moving average on the daily, which is the purple line, and it got halted there. So what will happen tomorrow? Will it break below that? Will it come up? Who knows? The last time Tesla had earnings... This is what happened. We sold off for a month, had a little ups and downs there, but generally speaking, we sold off uh, for a month. Let's see what happened on TSLY. As we go to TSLY, you look at my buys and sells, those are a 1290, as that is the after hours uh, closing price. 1311 was a closing price on the day. Uh, so that puts us uh, not at the uh, 52 week low yet. But you do see this over there at 12.53 and is looming uh, depending on what happens tomorrow. As we've talked about for the last uh, week, uh, buying uh, Tesla today was not an option for me as we had to wait and see what happened with earnings. Because as we know, the last time TSLY had earnings, after it took about a month, but it went from 18 all the way down to 13. Now, what happens if we drop all the way down to nine over the course of the next month? Who knows what will happen and what will happen with this ETF? Um, but there is something I want to show you. So when this was dropping, Tesla and Tesla, after it sold off after earnings, it didn't necessarily sell off for a whole month because of Tesla. So if we look at here, the earnings came in line with the top of the market, the whole market went down for about a month, right? And then uh, started to come back up and then has sold off uh, since that point. So if the market does rebound and starts going higher, I would not expect a, a dip on, te so on Tesla as deep as we had here. I would look for a, a dip to be much smaller. Let's go look at the weekly time frame. So after hours we're at 232, we're looking at those moving averages on a weekly time frame, oh, about 220-ish or so. Uh, we will see what happens if uh, Tesla gets down there, if it finds support around 220 or the 200 level and goes up from there. Um, you know, buying Tesla today, I, I think, uh, for my plan, was just foolish. I did not buy it because we had earnings and uh you know, earnings were expected to be lower, so I just went on that side of the fence, knowing uh, that's a possibility. Um, also, looking back at past history after earnings, this was also a possibility. I did not want to buy up here at the top of earnings, right? That, that's where you would have bought today if we sell off for the next month. You would have literally bought at the top right as opposed to being patient and waiting and to see what happens over the course of the next few days um also uh jay powell speaks tomorrow so for my plan for tsly um uh, i'm just going to chill and hold for a couple days and just kind of see what happens see what jay powell says tomorrow i'm not in any rush i would rather average down you know at a point like this Right, if, if we get a 4 or $5 drop, then to average down at the very tip top of the drop. I'll wait and be patient and see how the markets play it. And uh, as always, we're going to wait for price action to tell us what to do. We're not going to make uh, any kind of judgments until price action tells us what to do. This is Mike, Tactical Stock Scalper, out.